over many years of practice, I've been asked about different genres of shoes, different brands. Um, one of the companies that possibly I've been asked to comment on most frequently are Birkenstocks. Um, they've been around for ages and they've been very popular for a very long time. Um, and part of that popularity comes from the fact that there is a certain mystique about them, that they're somehow uh, orthopedically appropriate, that I mean, even physicians have recommended them to patients many times. I've had patients come in with plantar fasciitis, uh, heel pain, and being told, oh, you should be wearing Birkenstocks, that'll cure your problem. And so what we're going to do is talk a little bit about um, Birkenstocks and where they're appropriate and where they're not. So first of all, um, do I like them? Um, I have mixed feelings. Um, they're certainly better than a pair of flip-flops or flat sandals with no contour um, that offer zero protection other than against puncture wounds in the bottom of the sole. Uh, so they have, they have a benefit that way. Um, when they're brand new, they don't flex at all in the front of the foot. So they bear a striking resemblance to the post-surgical shoes we dispense to patients when we do surgery, because we don't want their foot to flex, we don't want it to function normally, we want to kind of splint it. So splinting the foot and diminishing normal foot function, uh, no, that's, it's not an ideal thing. Uh, they do have some rigidity, well, they have a lot of rigidity back through the, mids, uh, the midfoot, so that again helps decrease some degree of rolling in. Uh, arguably, again, they have a nice arch structure. So if you have an arch and you want a little bit of support in that arch, then yeah, it works. It's not specific to you. Um, it's not exactly your arch. And if you don't have an arch, then it's gonna hurt like hell. Uh, Cause you can't create an arch by simply pressing up in the, in the middle of the foot and creating one. It just doesn't happen and it's, it's very, very uncomfortable. Um, the other thing is they're basically flat front to back. There's no heel lift at all. So the muscles, there are three muscles that support the inside of your ankle and prevent you from rolling in. When your foot's flat on the ground, they're working flat out. Uh, so a little bit of a heel, a heel lift does give you a mechanical advantage. It makes you more stable. You can function better. And again, so when your foot rolls in like that, the shoe's not flexing in the front. So your big toe joint's not bending, so you have no choice but to turn your feet out. And most people, when they're walking in their Birkenstocks, will kind of have that, you know, duck-like, abducted, turned out gait. So that's, uh, it's not good for your big toe joint. You'll typically end up with big calluses on the side of your big toe. It's, you know, cause, it can cause bunion deformities, ingrown toenails. And that external rotation in the limb means your knee is, instead of pointing straight ahead, it's turned out. Your hips also externally rotated, none of which is basically ideal for longevity of the joints. Um, the second thing I don't particularly like about them is they actually wear the sole, the outer sole here wears really quickly. You can see on this one, it's, these aren't that old and they're quite worn off. These are Maryland's and she's got a little bit of curvature uh, in the lower part of her leg. And so as a result, her heel strikes first on the outside and it wears off really fast. Once you wear through this and start wearing into the cork, you'll go through it like a knife through butter. And so that little instability you had in your lower leg, now becomes greater and greater and increases your likelihood of an ankle sprain or you know just increases the ankle instability. Uh, the other thing that happens is the cork over time will actually deform and you actually, you'll see the, the, the sandal, the sole of the sandal becomes twisted and takes on the deformity uh, caused by your gait. So that again makes you more functionally unstable and by nature, the folks that love them, wear them till they're completely dead and sometimes beyond. So there is a place for them. Uh, they're certainly better than going barefoot around the house. Um, if you're going out in the back porch to enjoy a lovely summer's evening on the deck, absolutely. Uh, they're not the thing to go hiking and walking or wearing as your primary footwear day in, day out, as quite often becomes the case. So there you go, that's your Birkenstock. Hopefully that's uh, been food for thought and
again, for those of us that do have structural instability, this isn't the answer. It's certainly not a therapeutic treatment. If you're in the middle of a bout of heel pain or general foot pain or back pain, this is not a therapeutic treatment. We can do better. Okay, bye for now.